the audience. Now, when I say audience, you might think of robust blonde men with pointed chins, pointed noses, fair complexion, riding horses, killing everyone in their path. Well, historically speaking, that might not necessarily be true. The first inscriptive mention of the word Ari is found at based on Afghanistan, in an inscription by the Persian king Darius I. Unlike our current understanding of the word Arya, where we use it to refer to a specific community of people, the word comes from the Sanskrit language and means noble. So Aryans equals nobles. Problem solved, right? No. History is never that easy. Now, the meaning of the word is clear. But how and when did this whole confusion about the origins of the Aryan people start? For that, we must go back to 18th century India. It all started with William Jones who was a philologist from England. He was the one who noticed the similarities between the classical European languages like Latin and Greek and the Indian Sanskrit language. He proposed a theory that these languages must have had a mother language which all our ancestors spoke and later migrated to various parts of the world. Thomas Young termed these sister languages as Indo-European languages and one of the biggest controversies of human history was created. This concept established a connection between the people living in the regions of India and Europe. And it was believed that the Indian people were descendants of Aryans who came to India some 2000 years ago. So that was about the origins of the controversy of the origins of the controversial Aryans. Now let's take a look at the sources that mention these Aryan people. The word Arya is mentioned in Rig Veda many times which is generally considered the oldest of the four Vedas. Now as is the requirement with any historic record, we first need to date this literary text. The Rig Veda is considered to have been compiled between 10,000 BC to 1500 BC. We found an inscription at the Bogaskoi site in Turkey which mentions four Vedic deities and this inscription has been proved to have been created in about 1360 BC. Based on this inscription, we can say that there were some followers of Vedic deities in the Bogaskoi area during 1360 BC. This also lets us conclude that the Rig Veda must at least be older than 1360 BC. The Rig Veda says that these people lived in the Saptasindhu region that is the land of seven rivers. The rivers Ganga, Yamuna, Gomati, Kurram, Kabul, Swat and Oxus are also mentioned in this text. So it's pretty clear that these people, residents of Saptasindhu region, created the Rig Veda or the people mentioned in it lived in the Swast region now known to Indians as the Northwestern frontier. Just like the word Arya, several other words are mentioned in the Rig Veda like Das, Dasyu and Pani. They are called Anarya and they are not so noble or painted in a villainous role in the Rig Veda. As per the Rig Veda, their lips are like bulls, they are Ayadnya, Avrata, phallus worshippers and basically not the followers of Indra. These Dasas, Dasyus and Panis were basically clans of a big tribe. Dasas were farmers, Dasyus were laborers and Panis were rich merchants and traders. That brings us to our next point, Rig Vedic tribes. The major event that is mentioned in the Rig Veda is the Dashtradnya War. Vishwamitra was a royal priest to King Sudas of the Bharat clan. But when the king replaced him with says Vashishta, Vishwamitra decided to take revenge on him and gathered 10 kings of 10 clans. This war was fought on the banks of Parushni River. King Sudas and the Bharatas won this war and expanded their territory. The conquerors moved further and settled on the banks of the Kanka Yamuna River. Now we know enough about the Aryans, their tribes, the war, the Rig Veda, etc, etc, etc. So now let's talk about the big question. Were these Aryans indigenous or foreign invaders? First, the Aryans in the Rig Veda believed the region of Saptasindhu was created for them by the gods. It is considered an evidence that they believed themselves to be from that region. Another theory suggests that the Aryans were indigenous people who were the descendants of their Mesolithic ancestors but later became traders and merchants and built great cities of the Indus Valley civilization and after its decline they turned to God and created Rig Veda. Aryan Invasion Theory This theory suggests that these people probably migrated from the Eurasian steppes around 5000 BC and they arrived at the borders of India on their horses and chariots in around 2000 BC. Scholars like B.G. Tilak trace the origins of the Aryans in the Arctic region. This conclusion was drawn from the astronomical mentioning in the Rig Veda. And last but not the least, Indra, who is a major Rig Vedic god, is called Purandar, which means destroyer of fortified cities. Scholars like Sir Robert Eric Mortimer Wheeler relate this concept of Purandar with the foreign Aryans destroying cities built by the indigenous people. So the conclusion to this Aryan issue? Well, first of all, 
Most of these problems lie in misinterpretation of facts. There were no Aryan people as such, just the people living in the Saptasindhu region who called themselves Aryans. Also, it can be said there were no wars or the so-called Aryan invasion didn't actually take place because we don't have any evidence of it. Yes, the migration of Aryans and other communities is certainly possible. Whatever may have happened, we now know that around 1500 BC, these people, whether of indigenous or foreign origins, settled on the banks of seven rivers and later settled on the banks of Ganga and Yamuna rivers. They were warrior clans and pastoral communities who later became farmers. They formed small states called Mahajanapadas, but more on that in our next episode. Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment. Please don't forget to subscribe our channel, Design Hysterics. Get more updated videos from now. Click on the bell button below to get notified. See you people in the next video. Till then, it's a bye from Design Hysterics team.